from New Orleans, Louisiana, it's the Cube covering .next Conference 2018. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back. We're here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm Stu Miniman with my co-host Keith Townsend, and we're thrilled to welcome to, to the program two end users here at the show. We have Sharon Harris, who's the CTO of Asuda Medical Centers out of Israel. Also have Paul Stallings, who's the Vice President of IT Infrastructure Services, Guidewell with Florida Blue. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. All right, uh, Paul, let's start with you. Just give us a little bit about your role and your organization. Sure, I work for Guidewell. We're a health solutions company. Um, we've been, we started out as an insurance company primarily, and now we moved to a solutions. So we are on the provider side and the payer side. I run IT infrastructure services, which is a shared services among five different companies under the Guidewell brand. Great, and, and Sharon? Yeah, Asuda Medical Centers is uh, the largest chain of private hospitals in Israel. We have uh, four hospitals and four clinics spreading across the country from north to, to south. We're conducting about one million radiologist tests and examination per year and about 15% of the entire surgeries in Israel. Yeah, well, luckily both of you in your industries, my, my usual joke is, Nothing's changing, you have huge budgets, you know, <laughs> yeah. unlimited staff, <laughs> wish. Um, and, 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 and no challenges. Uh, Paul, <laughs> Paul be, before we get into, you know, the Nutanix solution, of course, you're using, t t tell us about some of the drivers for change in your business, your org, you know, some of the challenges and opportunities you're facing. Yeah, sure, we're really in a growth mode in our organization, you know, in the last six years, we've actually grown to these five companies. We went from an $8 billion company to a $16 billion company, we went a huge trajectory, and transformation is the key. And we have to have high availability, we have to be able to um, meet our customers' needs, we have to be able to scale and be agile, and that's thrown at me every day, so. Sharon? Yeah, now we're the, in the healthcare industry, we have both ends. On one end, we have uh, to maintain stability and the uh, performance and redundancy because we're working you know, 24-7, 365 days a year. And on the other end, we must be innovative and innovation uh, and make everything uh, for our end users and customers very available, very approachable because users don't want to come to, to our clinics and hospitals. They, they want to do everything for them. So, as much as we can, we're uh, giving them the opportunity to do it. Yeah, yeah, digitization. So Paul, that's amazing growth. Eight billion, 16 billion to 16 billion, whether it's organic, inorganic, that's a major shift in capability. What have been some of the primary challenges from a technology perspective as you guys have gone through that major growth period? Yeah, I think the velocity is some of the, one of the biggest challenges for us, being able to grow. We really need a solutions that we could really want to modularly grow and pay to grow and scale better. It's really hard when you have that much growth to do the legacy where you think about in the next three years I need this much capacity because it's unpredictable because the growth is so fast. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It, it's impossible to forecast. <laughs> right, it's, mm -hmm. right. it's impossible. <laughs> Absolutely. I had a CIO that tells me, I, I said, the, 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 the data costs are getting out of control. I said, you know what, just as long as data is growing, that means that the business is growing. Absolutely. So hard drives thing. are definitely the thing that you want to buy. So as you both deal with growth, stability, capability challenges, what appeals about the Nutanix story to you? I think one of the things that I just mentioned, that pay to grow opportunity is huge for us. The simplicity is huge, the availability, and really trying to get to automation. I really have to do more with less. We're growing so fast, I can't even onboard folks fast enough. So I think that simplicity, the automation, and that, that pay to grow model is great for us. So uh, we're in the digital era. So we need uh, to supply our end users, once again, as I said before, a digital application and uh, to be able to execute uh, uh, those uh, needs uh, very quickly. And uh, we're looking towards the cloud. Uh, and you can't really have public cloud readiness and services unless you have private cloud readiness and services. So Nutanix, for me, is the best solution uh, for automation, as Paul said, and uh, uh, to begin the process to um, uh, achieve the connection between private and public cloud. That, that, an interesting point, could you expand on that? What do you mean by, what does private cloud mean to you? And most customers you hear, oh, we, we, we're doing some development, we're trying some new products in the public cloud. Uh, you, you flip that some. Yeah, 
Uh, I, I, I spoke uh, yesterday uh, in one of the sessions, and uh, I asked the audience how much time it takes uh, to fire up a virtual machine uh, from a template. And the answer was like between half an hour and one hour. So one hour, that's cool. Uh, and how much time it takes for you to take this machine and uh, join it to the uh, CRM or the SharePoint on the Epic or the SAP farm? And the answer was about a week. So where did seven days go? Why the, is the, the, the gap is so huge between one hour and the week? And, and the answer is because of the lack of automation. For me, public cloud is exactly like, pr uh, uh, sorry, private cloud is exactly like public cloud. The same services, the same ability to execute and generate services level, not server level, because server level are already there, like a few 10 or 15 years ago, we are already there. Services level in the same uh, uh, um, 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 ability that we have in the public cloud. Yeah. Paul, Paul, would love to hear your comments on how cloud fits into your environment. Yeah, absolutely. We're, you know, because we're in the health industry, private cloud is paramount, but we really need hybrid because we want to be able to burst and scale um, and have that agility. Um, but uh, to a lot of things Farone said, um, I, I do need that the automation, I do need the scalability, but you know, I definitely need some commonality on my stacks. I have a shared services, I have to be able to scale, I have to be able to have best prices, I need to be able to compete and collaborate with the private and public sectors. So let's talk about some of the services that Nutanix offers. First, let's start in the private cloud. A lot of great announcements, one of the things that I've been asking from Nutanix since I heard about them, is basically what they're delivering in AFF. A, I'm sorry, AFS, a file services solution. Are you guys using any of those uh, file or type solutions in, within your environment? Uh, not yet, we are not uh, using uh, the file uh, solution uh, by Nutanix, but uh, we're using uh, other services such as uh, the uh, big data um, verification with uh, Cloudera, uh, because uh, we're uh, actually a, a, a built environment for uh, our uh, new research um, a, a, a development company that uh, we signed in. Uh, uh, big data, uh, Cloudera, Hadoop, and uh, uh, Impala, and so on. Uh, and we did it very quickly, and uh, stability-wise, and performance-wise, and file services-wise, because it's a big data, you know? It's a different kind of uh, perception over there. Uh, Nutanix uh, give us a, a, a very quickly uh, deployment and the uh, services uh, that we need to, for this project. Yeah, so. could, could, you, could you just expand on that when you say it was a fast deployment, you know, days, yeah. what? Uh, our CEO uh, signed the contract with uh, this company and said, okay, uh, I want it to be uh, ready uh, like two weeks from now. Uh, and uh, uh, then I thought, okay, I can do it traditionally uh, and it will probably take me a month uh, or even uh, more and I can do it uh, with Nutanix. Uh, and Nutanix wasn't ready the, uh, in, 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 that, in this time uh, uh, with Cloudera verification, but Nutanix promised me that they will support me 100%. I got a letter from the VPR R&D of Nutanix uh, that they will support me and they will get the certification. Now, most of the vendors that they want to sell you something, they say, yeah, we'll get it, no, no worries, and, and, and they delivered it. First of all, they give us full support in the duration of uh, the uh, implementation of the uh, environment, and they, they did get the certification a few months later. Uh, so performance-wise, we did the test, so I know that it works uh, with uh, Hadoop and Cloudera. By the way, when there was performance issue, it was a, a, a by cl a Cloudera fine-tune that we need to do. It, it wasn't Nutanix at all. Uh, uh, really, uh, I, I really like this product, but, but they really deliver. So, performance-wise, uh, um, execution-wise, uh, and stability. So you met the, you met the deadline that your uh, management I, I met the deadline. Now, the uh, uh, um, um, medical staff uh, is behind schedule, but <laughs> <laughs> I did the my part. Was there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Paul, what are, are any, is there any particular service that you use within the Nutanix private cloud that you want to talk about? Well, we're pretty new to the Nutanix suite of services, um, but I, one thing that's unique about our organization is we're one of the first to um, not only do x86, but do power systems as well. Mm. So, um, you know, we wanted that one pane of glass, one cloud management uh, system that we can actually do 
all of our workloads. So we really just, you know, we started x86, but we just recently got our power infrastructure up and running, about 100 nodes, and that's working well as well. Um, and we're happy to have both sides of the fence and really look at all of our workload through that single pane of glass. Great, can you tell, what workload are you running on that? And do you have any AIX that you might look to uh, put on that now that, that that's going to be supported? Yeah, so we're really now starting to look at things with Kubernetes and really start putting our open enrollment applications on because that's really our seasonality, right? It's kind of our busiest time frame. We want to have the highest availability, we have to be able to scale, and want to have zero downtime. So um, that one click, uh, we, we love those kind of capabilities, and that's really helping us with our new application for open enrollment. So let's talk about Nutanix's vision. You both are cloud forward thinking organizations. As you look at Xi, as you look at the integration of Calm with the major cloud providers, what are your initial thoughts? I think that, you know, I think Xi is really interesting, you know, where I can have those recovery options. You know, I really, we really got to move infrastructure from to, from re, to resiliency and, and make sure resilient, but it's always a, nice to have that backup and uh, be able to click over very quickly, opposed to the traditional recovery model where you, you back it up and you have to restore it. We, wanna, we don't want to restore. We want to be able to bring that back up and have that high availability. So I'm really interested in the Xi piece. Yeah, uh, we uh, got the budget uh, for uh, DR. Uh, this year, yeah, <laughs> and uh, um, we need uh, to take in consideration uh, the best DR module for Asuta. Uh, now, to be honest with you, if uh, regulation uh, would allow us, uh, I, I wouldn't think twice. Uh, but this is a barrier that I need to uh, check with my legal department. Uh, but technology-wise, Zai is amazing uh, solution. In terms of uh, cloud, uh, as I said before, I, I, I believe that there's no other option. Uh, there's no other option but to build your private and be, uh, moving towards public cloud uh, services. Uh, uh, by the way, the main barrier for me is uh, the human barrier because uh, we need to train our personnel, we need to uh, uh, change the way they think, we need to combine between uh, system guys and uh, networking and uh, security guys uh, because now it's one box. So it's uh, quite a challenge when Tanix make a difference. All right, it's the first time for both of you attending this show. Uh, Paul, start with you. If you can tell us you know, what brought you to the show, what you're hoping to accomplish, you know, what you've learned so far, and general experiences here. Yeah, so you know, as Nutanix is really helping us build out our private cloud, we definitely know that even though healthcare has a lot of regulatory requirements, we don't want to do full public, we know we're going to have to start moving more and more into the cloud space. So, and we know there's different cloud players out there, but we want to have that mobility of our workloads and move them in and out and move them back um, to our environment and move them from cloud provider to cloud provider. And I've definitely started hearing about a lot of the services that Nutanix provides that enables those kind of solutions, and I want to learn more about those. For me, Nutanix uh, is bringing to the table new ideas, new perception, and the most important thing that they gave us, thing, giving us things that we need. Uh, and uh, you talked about Zai, you talked about Calm, uh, there's a been a, 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 a new concept, uh, and they are always uh, moving ahead and uh, uh, bringing the market to chase them, uh, if, if, if I can say it uh, this way. Uh, and, and for me, the most important thing is uh, to have everything, as Paul said, in one box and ab able to uh, do it uh, very simple by automation processes. So, w one question around people, you're growing at a clip, like doubling the organization as you go out and look for staff to augment your existing staff to innovate, to change. How does Nutanix help or hinder the, in the hiring process, like onboarding new employees, you said onboarding is a challenge. Onboarding and training, commentary around that. Yeah, so, you know, people are our most precious assets, right? And, you know, you, when you hire new, you want to get the best people you can get, right? So, you know, I, I think that we definitely try to identify folks that have the type of aptitude we need. We don't always, we're not always able to find the folks that are skilled with all the solutions we need, because cloud is so diverse, and Converge is so diverse with the stacks. But we actually um, are doing a better job with finding the right talent, or training the ones that we have up, and to prepare and uh, give the, the, div the training to the new folks that are coming through the door. But uh, onboarding is definitely an opportunity for us, and I think we're going to be able to scale a little bit better with onboarding as we look at automation. Automation is going to be the key to getting folks onboarded faster. So Cheryl, what, what about you? What, 
how is Nutanix help with well, your, not necessarily onboarding because growth is not necessarily change, yeah. but people change. Yeah, people change, and the market is changed as well, and people must understand that they should embrace the change. Even I change each and every day. I learn every, uh, new things, I implement new things, I, I dare, uh, and I challenge my organization. I have to convince my finance and my CIO and my CEO that this technology, whether it's Nutanix or other technology, is the right technology for our organization. Now, Nutanix is helping us in terms of innovation because of the fact that we are uh, begin a, a to um, uh, sign contracts with startups, and we have to uh, build them uh, labs, uh, and uh, yeah, and then combine them with our production environment, but do it very smartly, a sophisticated way. So Nutanix, with the micro segmentation and other uh, uh, features that they're having, is very helpful for us in this area as well. All right. L last thing I wanted to ask. Lessons learned. You, you, you relatively new uh, in, in the space, but it's always things that you look back and say, "What could I have done better? What I wish I, I, I knew a little better." Uh, Paul, Paul, so, so start with you as to talking to your peers as to you know what would you recommend to them and what what, what changes might they make? You know, I think we're so new into it. We don't have a lot of um, lessons learned yet um, because we're just really going into production with a lot of the systems that we have, especially on the AIX side and the power side. But I do think that um, we are doing a debrief probably coming up in the next, uh, next 30 days to really identify if, there's, if there are opportunities that we probably do different now, differently. Now, I will say that um, I do want to look at the whole private cloud to public cloud opportunities and really understand what those challenges are because I think from an application perspective, we don't always build applications that we plan to bring back. So I need to really partner with my development shops that when they build applications, how do we make sure we can bring those workloads back? I want to understand some of those cost models. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, I would say uh, choosing the right use case uh, and uh, prepare for uh, the implementation, plan as much as you can, uh, uh, because those two things will make or break if you're a beginner. If you're already a customer of Nutanix, you know what to do. But if you're a beginner, th those things are very important and uh, uh, um, combine it with a, a good or very good integ integrator. B because it, it, once again, if you want to succeed in this project, because it's another project, it's not that service that you install. If you go with this method, uh, uh, then you didn't earn anything. So if you want to get the best out of uh, Nutanix, and Nutanix have to offer a lot of services as we discussed, uh, you should do it. All right. Sharon and Paul, thank you so much for sharing your stories. For Keith Townsend and Stu Miniman, we always love to talk to all the users here, and uh, glad to be able to bring them to you. Thanks so much for watching theCUBE.